Hey, so today is election day. And I'm just not going to get into that. There we go. <laughs> um, um, so it's been a while since I've recorded anything, even. I haven't even recorded anything and not even kept it to myself to not post because I do that. I'll record and I won't post stuff. Sorry, I guess. <laughs> but um biggest reason being is my great grandfather um passed away on the 29th. Um uh, and that was is that is really hard for me and my family right now um like you hear great grandfather and you're like wow you know he got to live such a long life and see so much stuff and when when it's him though for me, it's like, you should have met him because he was such an amazing person. He was so kind. He always put other people before himself or uh, he would just go out of the way or not even ask you if you needed help with something he would just help you and he was just the sweetest guy had the biggest smile the biggest sweet tooth and even up to two months ago he was working out at the gym yeah working out at the gym and inspiring so many other people in more ways than just working out, I think it had to do a lot with, you know, you're never too old to keep doing the things that you love to do. Like, I remember when I was younger, like, he would just sit, lie down on the floor and start doing a thousand sit-ups. Yeah, like literally doing a thousand sit-ups right in front of me. And it just... It's just so crazy. It's like, wait, why am I not doing that? You know? <laughs> uh, and for me, he just was the kind of person that it wouldn't matter what age that he passed away because it would always be too soon. Because he really needed to be in everyone's life. Like, you don't even know him. And I wish that you had gotten to. Because he would have made a difference one way or another. He would have made a difference in your life. And... It, it's, it's difficult for me to process it because it doesn't seem real yet. And I don't want it to be real. He, my nephew, his great, great grandson he got to meet him he got to meet him how cool is that like I mean I'm sure technology the way it's going there's gonna be people living so long but in this moment right now that is just the coolest thing craziest thing 
And to me, that's very special. And I'm sure when my nephew's much older and, you know, can process everything and see the pictures of this man, he's going to be like, wow, I don't remember it. But I think it's so cool that I got to know him. And... Yeah, he, he was a really great person. He was always inventing things. Like, he, he would just find the craziest way to make something work uh, if it was broken. And... It might be, like, ridiculous or look ridiculous because of the way he finagled it to work. But it worked. So, whatever. And, um, before I was even born, he was making these things that were convertible cradles. And they looked, like, really, really pretty and, um, handmade done by him, obviously. And... Um, I don't know, they look cool, whatever. Uh, and no matter how bad of a day he was having, he would always smile and had the biggest smile. Like, even when I saw him in the hospital. He had the biggest smile on his face. Uh, yeah, he was a really great person, and I wish that you would have gotten to know him 